yeah, um, I'd say it's playing into dog strengths rather than counteracting what Byzantine Raiders has. Sure. Uh, cogs into spear is nice. Uh, hook shot in, so you rely on the hook instead of the arena blink, as Mars blink tends to be delayed. You tend to see something like the Yule sub first, so you do have other options to go into these fights first. Um, I suppose you do have the talent where Rocket Flare gives you True Sight, but that yeah, does take a 20. long time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a long time to pick up. And Byzantine Raiders take the Pango. That's well, a well, well, well. Well, pick up for them. Ooh. How dare they? How dare they take <laughs> it away from Dog Champ? To be a very interesting, a very confident pickup to make up against the you know self-proclaimed best Pangolier in the world. Uh, I'm sure he'll have something to say after this game, assuming he can win this one out uh, and have a winner's interview with us. Still, Dog Champ, fourth pick for them. What a team fight with this draft from Byzantine Raiders. And actually, you did point out something rather nice with the clockwork, John. Uh, the hook shot into the Ricky into the arena spear is going to be quite nice because then you can guarantee the spear lands, uh, which mm -hmm. is something that didn't really come to mind straight away for myself. And of course, the cogs in the Mars arena is also kind of devastating. Uh, Mars arena being kind of a small place as it, uh, as, it, as it stands already. And then you've got the cogs in there to keep pushing people between the walls and the cogs uh, can be rather disgusting. Uh, not that we get to see it very often, but when it does happen, it is a rather beautiful sight to behold. Dog champ still 15 seconds reserve time left for this fourth pickup. All right, they bring out the PA, which, you know, it gives you that evasion. I don't necessarily love it against the Ricky because he can still trick the mm. trade and hit you and the Battle Fury Cleave is not going to care for the evasion. But it is still a very nice position one to have. That it is. Um... Also, kind of going away from Ritsu's illusion-based here is mainly because you already have this Pangolier. So going for Naga, going for um, Kiel, not really a good option there. There is a really good way of clearing out those illusions. PA does give them another way of jumping in as well to follow up the, the hookshot hogs. You can just blink strike in. And you can easily burst the Ricky. See, it's, it's a matter of burst. Like if the PA comes online fast, say Battle Fury, Deso by 18 minutes, maybe 20 you can easily hunt down to Ricky, who might only have his Battle Fury by then, yep. and maybe halfway to Ags. So you can just burst him down, focus down on the Ricky, and keep him from hitting that power spike, and just build an item advantage off of that. So this does tell me that maybe Ritsu's going to look to play earlier. Sub-20 minutes in, he might join his team a little bit more. So have, he has that Battle Fury plus uh, Desolator up. I think they're going to need to play a little bit faster against the Ricky, just to ensure... That doesn't go off to a right start. Protect those supports. As you mentioned, the supports are not going to time here. Love the ban out from Byzantine Raiders as well. Taking out the Zeus in particular mm. means that they don't have an easy way to keep scouting out. But the Thunderbolt is just going to end up as a raw economy ward game here for the supports. It certainly will be. Dog Champ, they've got this mid pickup left. Uh, you do still have some spirits. So you, you have the Ember, and you've got the Earth Spirit there, but we haven't really seen Mid-Earth Spirit at all in NA. Uh, the Ember, though, we do get to see often enough, so that is a, a possibility here. He doesn't necessarily love fighting into the Nyx Ricky, however, but there you go. He They do pick it up. I guess the Spirit Brothers just never really get old, uh, no matter what patch comes out. They're always just pretty darn strong. Still, into the Nyx Assassin can be pretty tough. Uh, Flame Guard can just pop the Spike Carapace, so can Slide of Fist, so can Remnant. It, it's it's a tough situation. And the Smokescreen is obviously pretty annoying as well from the Ricky. Not to mention the Brambles and Cursed Crown from the Dark Willow. So they do have plenty of ways of dealing with the Ember this game. Uh, but I suppose most of the attention will need to be focused on the PA anyway. Uh, the Ember is just going to be one of those kind of tempo setting mids. Just creating space for, uh, for Ritsu this game to, to farm up to the point where he can just get out of control. Ooh. And a Doom pickup comes out for Byzantine Raiders. Very, very different. Hmm. That it is. AMB Doom mid. That should actually hold out against the Ember Spirit. We've seen that a couple of times in Southeast Asia. Uh, at least before, a couple of months ago. Used to be run there. And matchup tends to work out fine. You just farm up on that Doom. So you do have a lot of control here hmm. to lock in the PA, to lock in the Ember. There's a ton Byzantine Raiders will want to do. It looks like they will have to play around. I'd say initial Doom timings are going to be key here. Play as four once AMB has level six or seven. 
pop that boom every time it's off cooldown find your pickoffs preferably hunt down Rayla Lisa and Ritsu those are the key heroes that need to die especially Ritsu you just see what happens when you leave him alone too long he just jumps out of jungle with all the items farmed up he's ahead of your core don't want that to happen here so no. Byzantine Raiders again gonna have to play a fast game and dog champ well it's a tough game for them either way just Ember into Ricky Nix I it's not smoke screen just ruins you now let's see how it pans out though it should be a very fun matchup to watch of course, Dog Champ, one game away from being able to get a 2-0 victory in Byzantine Raiders. Obviously want to try and force this to a game number three. And of course, you and I would love to see it. And John, I, I can see you smiling. What is it? What have you read, John? I, I can I can see uh, you reading the chat. Uh, someone wants to add, wants me to ask you, is that the same shirt? Are you kidding? <laughs> from yesterday. No. Yeah, someone's asking. No. <laughs> I was wearing the blue one yesterday, John. All right, all right, all right. It's very close tonally. I can, I can understand. No, it's not. Maybe. This is black and white. <laughs> I think it's the floral pattern. People just see the florals and they're like, oh, it's the same shirt. No, it's you not. Know, it's like... Come on now. <laughs> is that, is that the same custom. guy from SCA that I used no... to always ask me? There was one guy I have we no cast clue. in Southeast Asia that asked me every single cast, yeah. is that the same shirt? <laughs> Even though I made it a I, mission I, of mine to have a different shirt every yeah. single time, because that guy was keeping an eye on me. <laughs> I don't think it is, but it could be as well. You know, it could be. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It is a familiar name. Uh, that is a shout out to Ross No Sog for asking that question. You have triggered Mike, so I'm very happy already. Thank you, Mike. Don't, don't give him a shout out, John. He, he doesn't deserve that. <laughs> oh, God. It's not the same shirt, by the way, John. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I believe you. I believe you. I got your back. It no, you was don't. blue yesterday. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I have very bad memory with shirts. You know? It's not something I wake up in the morning and say, what shirt is Mike going to wear today? Not something I ask. My wife doesn't take Sorry, notice. Mike. You don't take notice. <laughs> Nobody takes notice uh, of me. I'm just invisible to everyone. Uh, oh, such as it is. Oh, Ritsu. Ritsu. Nice impale there from Steel Borko. Ritsu trying to find a way out of this. He does avoid the next brambles, but a nice swashbuckle in from Cube. And the block is there. Ritsu, he's gone. And Murderer is going to be the one to pick up the first blood. And the tip comes out immediately from AMB. Oh... <laughs> uh. Oh, that's a great start for Murderer. You, you love to see that on a Ricky. First Blood Gold going your way. He's going to get a very early Ring of Health. And he's already got a passive region of 4.3 for some reason on an Agi Core. So yep. once the Ring of Health is there, you, you just can't harass him out anymore. It's borderline impossible. Ironically enough, John, still Borko on the Nyx Assassin also has 4.3 base region for some reason as an Agi hero. So, uh... You know, I, I don't really get it, Ooh. but Ice Frog likes Agi heroes, apparently. Yeah, I mean, th there was a reason why Ricky's support was a thing, and Nyx 5 was also a thing when that region was a bit higher. So now you you do have to save up a bit, but a bit of a bait out as well. You saw that movement out from Steel Borko. He pinged out the ward spot being here on yep. the cliffside, and eh, it's going to be a bit of a bait if he does invest in the sentry. Still gives us a chance to peak mid. Ember versus Doom, steady lane. You don't really expect too much aggression out from either side. I guess you can try to catch out Alien Man Banana once he hits level 2 with Scorched Earth up. It's just going to regen right through the aggression. So should be a steady lane for both sides to hold in terms of farm. Not much excitement until some levels start to build in here. Absolutely not. What's up at top lane? You've got still Borko going up against Yaren. In terms of the support duos, and Murderer and Luki Luki going to be there on the Mars and Ricky respectively. I honestly don't believe Murderer is going to have a very tough time. Ricky doesn't mind the Mars. Again, Ring of Health is on the Courier right now, so Murderer are going to have a lot of passive regen coming in. And unless they can burst him down, I just don't see him dying. However, down a bot lane, somebody may die. As Frugos and Cube are falling very low, but looks like Ritsu and Bloody Nine are going to be forced back by Cube. And Frugos is going to be able to eat a nice Tango and be able to regen himself up. And I've got to say, all the uh, the lanes look pretty decent here from Byzantine Raiders. I don't really see much of a weakness uh, in any of their lanes. 
No, they've, they've got strong laners all around. You're applying a good amount of pressure here. This bot lane in particular for Ritsu is not going to be fun. Clockwork hard five with a PA up against Pango Dark Willow. You don't trade well. Like, Bloody Nine does not contribute much. If he goes up for battery assault harassment, well, Dark Willow's ranged. And Pango can easily just try to swash out. Not many options there in terms of aggression to counteract that. And all you can do is just sit back, farm. At the least, Ritsu has Stifling Dagger in case the lane goes dicey. And he does jump in deep, though. He does. He would have loved Bloody Knight to get close for that battery is sold. And back the cogs. Frugos, he's been caught out. And I believe that should mean his death as he just stands still and survives. None of the battery assaults were actually hitting Frugos that whole time. And now Ritsu's in trouble. He'll blink strike away and he'll be just fine. Very, very close call there for Frugos. He's going to be able to salve up and he's going to be able to stick around. Yeah, that's not good for Ritsu. Playing with fire here, Q does have the swashbuckle up. Oh, if he wants to, but... Top lane, Garen ends up killing still Borko. Borko, it's uh, not what I was really expecting there from the Keeper of the Light. It does look like it was a solo kill as well, of all things, so... Unfortunately, I missed it, John, so I didn't really see how it happened. Mm, I think it boiled down to the fact that our Nyx was pretty darn low on mana, was stuck at level 1, so no spike cap is to break off the Illuminate. And, you know, you just stand in that Illuminate a couple of times. Yeah, will melt. So Yarin does get a little bit more value there, manages to get a pull off, but it'd be contestable now coming out from the side of uh, Raiders, and they do miss the Spike Carapace, though. That they do. It should be fine. Yeah, I don't really think they're going to kill Yarin here. Murderer a bit too low on HP to really keep chasing, but he's going to try onto Luki Luki. They do have another Impale. He will commit, but Murderer just wanting that large cap to himself. Another Illuminate gonna fly through, but not really connecting on anyone. And he does end up getting the creep straight onto the Mars now, trying to get a kill, but a nice spear. It's gonna make it so Murderer does get for forced back, but look at that regen, John. He's literally got a Tango going all the time. This bot lane, <laughs> they do end up getting Cube, Ritsu, and Bloody Nine able to secure a kill. And now top lane, they do end up getting Murderer. Luki Luki landing a nice spear into the God's Rebuke, and I, I guess I kind of jinxed it. <laughs> this is when that lane kicks into gear, though. Like, Keeper of Light level 3, Illuminate a 2, Chakra Magic up. You can really start to spam out either the God's Rebuke or the Spear if you want to. Makes that lane harder to commit to. Like, yeah, you've got a lot of good regen on Ricky, but if you are caught out, and if your Nyx is zoned out like this, just playing on the camps then you don't really have a defensive way of jumping out, especially if your creep wave is cleared out and you're being shoved into tier one. Absolutely. Mid lane, Ray Lisa is all by himself right now. It's like Alien Mana Banana. He went to the neutral camps and he's just going to steal away this stack that he's... I believe he actually made it himself anyway, so it's... Not like it was really the Ember stack to begin with. Bot lane, Bloody Nine does end up going down to Frugos. Nice little pick up there down at the bot lane for the Byzantine Raiders. Meanwhile, top, Luki Luki. He ganked up here by Still Borko, but he is spotted by the Keeper of the Light. Aaron now with the Illuminate. Gonna play right through Murderer, and that's a lot of damage out. Murderer just taking the whole thing. Blink Strike away. Another Illuminate. Tricks the trade, being a bit late there, but he does again survive. Just barely. Meanwhile, bot lane, they have started again. Cube is going to go down here to Ritsu. Frugos could also be in a spot of danger as he does drop the brambles. Ritsu just trying to dance his way around. He'll be fine. It does get salved up by Bloody Nine. Still a very nice kill on that Pango. Yeah, just constant aggression from every lane. No breeding room for either core. Interesting pickup from Ritsu. He opts for the early broadsword over a ring of health. And I guess it's paying off. The added damage is allowing them to find these kills. And Murder is starting to slow down up top. Just a constant pressure. He's always low on HP. Ooh. Gets clipped. Every time I look away, I thought he was fine. Was that just an Illuminate connecting, John? No, it was a spear on the end. Didn't even clip the tree. It just hit him and he died. It's just constantly in low HP. He's going to need oh. some regen and all. Marina is down, Luki Luki setting up once again onto Borko and they get another kill. 
Everything going very, very well for Dog Champ. A very smooth start to the game, apart from that initial first blood, and Oritsu accidentally saying GG will play. It does give him a sorry. Murder up. That is a very risky play to make. He will bling strike, but now Luki Luki gets a nice spear off. They probably won't have the damage output anyway to kill him off. Murder are really trying to play on the edge here. Luki just continues to pressure forward against that tier 1 tower. This is, this is not good news for Murderer. You look at Ritsu's last hits now down bot, 41 to 5 compared to a Ricky 24 to 3. The Battle Fury for her PA is going to be up a little bit earlier as well. That's going to spell some trouble oh, here as nice they're going to hit their timings. He's not really avoiding those spears at all with the tricks of the trade. Luki Luki has been very, very good at just landing them every single time, and Murderer just not able to react quick enough, it seems. Well, not quite yet, anyway. And one thing I want to see from Byzantine Raiders now as well, just to relieve some of that pressure, is to play with the Doom, although Ray Lisa diving. He is after the Dark Willow. Frugos turning back around for that Shadow Dance, or rather the Shadow Realm Strike. Borko gets a tip meanwhile at the top lane, which means the kill is probably going to happen. And they do get the Arena Spear onto Murderer, but he will use his stick charges and survive. Meanwhile, Borko is going to go down. Luki Luki getting a tip from Ritsu now, and he's... i am got to give it to him. He's doing a great job. Does end up missing that spear, but Murderer going to go back in. Another risky kind of attempt. He's going to take the Illuminate. He's going to go for the Blink Strike back onto Yaren. Aaron will have to be slightly careful for a few seconds, but he does recall Luki back in. And everything goes back to as it was. Yeah, I mean, they drag Frugas up top to relieve that pressure. Not going to be enough, although Murderer does have six. He's under sentry. He's a bit tankier. But He's yeah, underneath the sentry good. ward right now. He's going to run. Yaron, Luki, no dust. But it's just so much pressure being applied. And it's basically just oh, giving... Oh, Ritsu. Ritsu shows up. I was about to say Ritsu should be free farming right now on that PA. He's farming heroes right now, which is just as good. That being said, down a yeah. bot lane, they've got the clockwork, so Body 9 is going to die for their trouble. But in comparison to the Ricky dying, it, it means nothing. Uh, Dog Champ should be very, very satisfied regardless. Definitely. And again, I'm looking at Ritsu. His buildup is just so different from what we're used to seeing. He gets the two swords for us, so he's got a ton of damage. No regen, but that doesn't matter when these heroes just die. And they are going to go for the tier 1 tower trade. Their bot is going to be taken out as well. But you are happier with the situation here for your core on Dog Champ. Ritsu's just much closer to his battle fury. That means he's going to be farming into his desolator a little bit faster as well. And Byzantine Raiders have not been able to play around their doom timing just yet. Still Borko. Oh, nice hook shot there from Bloody Nine. Straight onto the Willow into the arena. And that is going to be a very, very dead Frugos. They should have spotted Borko there underneath that sentry ward, but they aren't going to be able to keep up with the Nyx Assassin. Uh, he is out of range of that true sight now. Really, so gonna be careful. They do have Doom available and Impel is gonna be there. So they commit everything, but a nice cogs out from Bloody Nine. Gonna try and buy time for the Sembas. Ray Lisa still alive. They kill off Porco, and Yaren should be able to secure it. Deny is the swashbuckle. They still get the kill. The deny was not there in time. AMB does pick it up. On the brighter side, he doesn't really get the experience. So Dog Champ, they just lose a hero, but now Yaren's gonna go down. Murderer, a nice rotation there on the Ricky. Does secure another kill. And he's still pretty far behind in terms of farm. At least with these that kill that he just picked up, he gets a bit of a bonus and he'll come back towards the top lane now and keep farming up. Yeah, he really needs to get that Battle Fury timing on point. Still a ways off. Uh, Ritsu is definitely going to find out first. I do like that they finally do use that first Doom on AMB. He does have an early blink. So this does mean our Doom is going to have to take a more active role as this game goes on. We're going to want to run around and start getting some kills. Although... In mid lane, Bloody Nine. He didn't have enough mana for the Cogs pushback. Very, very unfortunate. He will go down as now Raider Lisa trying to fight this one out. But 
actually gets a bit of mana there from Yaren. A bit more damage off onto AMB, but that's going to be enough. I believe Bloody Nine really wanted to Cogs push back the Nyx Assassin so Rayla Lisa could just finish him off. Uh, the mana just was not there and the stick was on cooldown. Yeah, just unfortunate but really good um, presence of mind from Byzantine Raiders to punish that movement in. They are finding a little bit more 11 to 6 now on the map and they are up top. Trying to go after Murderer, who does Blink Strike out of the arena, but he is still dusted up and being chased down. He's going to try for the TP play, and looks like he will be fine to get out. Nice little escape there from Murderer. Only problem being he had to TP back all the way to the fountain. He's got no boots, so he is moving a bit slower than you'd like, and his farm is still going to be a very, very slow kind of creep up for himself. Meanwhile... Die Triangle. Kongs is there by Bloody Nine, but he's taking a bit too much damage. Luki Luki doesn't have the spear available, so he can't finish off Borko. And now the Cursed Crown is going to be there by Frugos. He does at least get a spear off onto the Dark Willow, but it may not matter. He'll keep trying to run. The Impel won't land. Luki Luki is actually going to survive through this as the Blink. No, it's going to be there from Alien. He will commit the Doom just in case, but now the Deny attempt on the neutrals. Can he get it off? Not quite. Rayla Lisa might be in danger now, but mid lane, Yaren was also in danger as he dies to Murderer on the Ricky. Rayla Lisa should eventually be able to get himself out. But that did seem to favor Byzantine Raiders quite a bit. Yeah, they're starting to find some key kills from Dog Champ, just overextending a bit too much in the jungle. They are getting punished for their movements forward. And it is shaping up nicely. That was the Doom committed though, but they have bought out enough time for the Battle of Fury to be off in murder. Naked Battle of Fury, timing is not amazing, but it is up and running. Ags to come out next. This should speed up the process into that item, and they can start whacking away. You have to watch for these item timings on Dog Champ though. Desolator for Rayla Lisa is up first, and that does kind of take some pressure away from Ritzy, although he's also saving up for a Deso. So multiple Desos in the game, and there is a smoke here from Dodge. Oh, they got a nice chains off. That's a big, big target onto AMB. They're going to be able to get him. Now the hook shot Ooh. out from Bloody Nine, connecting on two heroes. Murder is stuck on the Kongs for now. He'll go for the tricks to the train. Frugos also going to survive as they don't have the damage, but no Ritsu. He jumps in with the crit onto Frugos. Cube. Rolling Thunder is there. A nice spear out from Luki Luki. He's going to finish off Borko. Chains out. Murderer trying to fight back, but Ritsu jumps right back in onto this Ricky. They do eventually still get the Mars. And Murderer does get himself out. And they're going to try and turn back around now. Onto this PA is Ritsu. He might just have to fight, but he cannot. The smoke screen is there. And the tip is out once again from A and B onto Ritsu. Oh, man. That was a really close call. I love the early rotation out from Ritsu. Just got a bit too greedy. He could have blinked out to the creep wave right by the tier one. Opted to try to turn around and hope for a couple of hits with a stifling dagger. Over kind of a overestimates his own durability and damage there. So good punishment out from Byzantine Raiders. The big thing is that Murderer lives true that. He gets a lot of gold from that fight, but not quite enough to overcome this deficit. So he's slowly building in. He is saving up now for his power treads first, not going to be a naked Axe Rush, although still more action mid. Impel is out by still Borko. Ready Lisa, he just picked up a full Desolator. That Impel... Pretty much just saved the life of that Pangolier. Of course, one of the other casters in the lobby was very, very happy to see that Murderer does have brown boots up. <laughs> this is a very nice sight there for the Ricky. Still yep. Borko, Helps he's been caught out, Luki, a nice arena speed once again onto that Nyx, and he is still underneath the sentry. No way out for him, and Rayla Lisa will happily take the kill for himself. Looks like they're going to slowly start sieging the mid-tier 1 tower. And I do mean slowly, because there is no real tower pusher here. I suppose with the Deso on Rayla Lisa, you can get a few hits in and can speed things up just a little bit. Yeah, they do need numbers to commit there if they want to go as Byzantine Raiders are holding on quite well. Uh, they have bought space out for Ritsu. He's clearing up the top lane. He is just about, what, one mithril hammer away from his own desolator. So you're going to have 
even more damage in PA, although it looks like you're forcing an issue mid. Bloody Nine, the battery assault making it hard to get the stun off, and now the Kong's pushback. Cube is going to blink forward with the Rolling Thunder, and he's got some great control, or maybe not as Bloody Nine. He hook shots out of there. Now Ray Lisa looking to turn back around onto Borko and AMB, but the BKB Doom is going to be out. They've got the Ember under control, but here comes Ritsu on the PA, trying to get a lucky crit onto this Doom, and not getting one quite yet as Murderer. The Smokescreen is there. He's going to lock down the PA for a little bit, but Ritsu is going to blur and walk away. Now the fear is out, connecting on multiple heroes as Cube gets one. Bloody Nine also goes down, and so does Yaren. It's a three for one trade for Byzantine Raiders. And just like game number one, their early to mid game is looking pretty darn good already. Yeah, they're playing well. They're they know when to force these fights while the Doom is up. They've got these early blinks on the Doom and the Pango Cube. Just hammering the right spot in for that Rolling Thunder. Have to respect that. When you do drop the cogs, you are liable to just get rolled on instead. So a lot lining up here for Byzantine Raiders. They're starting to see some catch-up on Murderer. Uh, three parts away from the full Ags. And Dog Champ now. They need to fight when that Doom is down. They know the Doom is down. Well, they've got Borko. Does get the Sentry down from Bloody Nine. And that means the Nyx Assassin is gone. Force Murderer to just start backing off immediately on the Ricky. Not willing to give his own life away, obviously. He's still got a lot of catching up to do for himself. However, they have caught out Luki Luki on this Mars. He's going to try and drop the arena, but it looks like he is set to die, and he will indeed go down as Cube. Goes in for another stun onto Yaron. Rayla Lisa is going to be recalled into the stun. Oh, that was not it. Oh, that is boy. so unfortunate. Yaren, Ooh, rightfully that's... so, gets some... Yes. Uh-oh. And I see lag, John. I, I... I'm to shove in that mid. And... Oh. I've DC'd. Oh. That's all right. They're shoving in the mid tier one. No defense. The Desolator is finally up here for Ritsu, but Byzantine Raiders are finding these wins without the Dog Champions. They start to lag behind in form. Four k Big way. Early BKB here for AMB as well allows him to stand up in front and fight. And Dog Champ will need... Saving up for a BKB on Ray Lalisa. Brugos going to try and go on to Ritsu. He would love the Doom on this PA, and it looks like they might just get it as the hook. We'll make sure they get the kill. With the Rolling Thunder, and now they get Bloody Nine. Into more. They've got Ray Lisa with the control from this damn roll. Just so strong from Cube. Arena, gonna be oh. dropped, but they should have enough damage here. Should be more than happy to just dive this. It looks like they will. Oh. Yeah, bloody nine, that was a great hook shot. TP, it's gonna be there. Shadow <laughs> Realm will keep him safe. Gotta love the, oh, uh, yeah, gotta love the Shadow Realm. Uh, I hate that spell. Have you ever tried playing uh, Ability Draft and seeing that? I've, I've seen Shadow Realm Sniper with Take Aim, and I forget what the last one was, but that was obnoxious, man. Take Aim plus Shadow Realm, and then the Ags? God. Beautiful. Do not want to play that again. No, sir. Not beautiful. <laughs> I don't think we'll see that Ags for Frugos, although it would be pretty dank. He is saving up for a blink. Dog Champ. They need so much to line up here. If Luki Luki really needs this blink up, he needs to set up for his team. But there's that Ags now on the Ricky. So if you thought he wasn't doing enough damage last time, he's going to do way more this time around. He even has an Imp Claw to make things tastier as well. And they are well and truly on their way to making a comeback this, this game, Byzantine Raiders. 
That, uh, that Daedalus is going to be quite a painful experience once he does have it up. What is this itemization from Ritsu? I don't know. Double he, Crystalis. He went... Is uh, he actually going to buy a second Crystalis? I, maybe? Like, I, I guess that pumps up your chance for a crit, and that's like a 30% sure. chance. 15% chance on your passive, plus another 30% chance. So you'll always crit, and you have a chance for a crit on crit proc. Well, the, the, the Crystalis stats are pretty great value. Like, 32 damage, obviously the 30% chance for 160% crit is pretty nice. You can crit on the crit, like you mentioned. So having two of them would amplify your chances to get a crit on top of your, your own inbuilt crit. Still mid lane. They are going to catch out Yaren on the Coddle. I've just never seen this kind of build up on a PA before. I'm, well, I'm gonna I, try I haven't and... seen it in years. Like, I, I'm gonna not, try not, not in a pro game. It. Yeah, well, let, this let's, is a pub build. Let's wait and see how it does work out. As oh, that's a nice root out from Frugos. Bloody nine, gonna have to commit the hook shot to try and buy time for it to get out. But the fear is gonna be there with the doom and the stun, and he's gone. Great rotations there from the Byzantine Raiders. They continue to just kind of roam the map as a team, and they are becoming very, very effective. Yeah, they've, they've hit their spikes. Like, Ag's, Ag's uh, battle fear is enough. They're trying to chase uh, Ray Lelisa. Cube uh, find anything. Excuse me, Cube is going to be fine. That was uh, another weird one. He TP'd in, but he also had the recall. Uh, there seems to be some coordination issues from Dog Champ. They, they need to kind of line up their spell usage, uh, get on, get right back on the same page. It seems a bit disconnected here in game number two. That it does. I suppose it's not really too much of a. I mean, I say this. I, it feels like you do need a BKB on this PA, but. Speaking of BKB, A and B is going to be forced to pop his own to be able to get out of this situation. I realize you're up against the Doom, but you've still got the Rolling Thunder, the Impale, the Brambles, the Cursed Crown, the uh, the Smokescreen. There's so many things that the BKB can help with this game. But he's all in on damages. They have caught out Murderer. Problem is, Luki Luki's already died to still Borko, and now Bloody Nine is going to be chased down by our Ricky. Orko really wants his kill, gets the Vendetta Strike, and Cube is going to be able to finish him off, and now Ray Lelisa has been caught out, and he's going to die. Hmm. Very it's dominant a... game. That's very lucky for Bloody Nine. He did get the night off, somehow, on the Ancient Camp, but the... Oh, wow, it's happening again. To take... Snipe the Courier with the Crystalis! Ritsu! I, uh, Crystalis. I have to apologize, John. My internet, just, it appears to be playing up. I'm not 100% sure why, but uh, I continue to disconnect and connect. So it's getting a bit strange. I'm sorry about this. No I, uh, problem. I, I can't reconnect because, you know, we're in the middle of the game right now. So I'm hoping it stabilizes. I'm not 100% sure what the hell's going on. Oh, you know, beta game. Beta no, no, it's not Dota. It's my, well. it's my actual internet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the NVN. Yeah. That's that's all there is. Still, Aegis does go the way of Byzantine Raiders. And there is a double damage rune on Murder as well. So they're going to clump up mid here. Try to find a pick off. Yaren is always standing in front. He's going to die first. Gets jumped in. Burst it down unceremoniously. And that's all she wrote. They find any more with this double damage ruin. That murderer, he's just going to show himself in the tree line. They already know he's there uh, anyway. He's going for Daedalus. He's going to upgrade him to Daedalus. So double Daedalus PA is what we're seeing. I I don't know. I, a BKB, surely. Like, Doom is there, yeah, but you raised it up. Rolling Thunder, all the spells from Nyx and Dark Willow as well. Like, this is risky. This is an all-in play and just bursting the Ricky down because he's super squishy. Bloody nine. He 
in trouble. He's going to try and get out of this. Recall is there, but he's been stunned up and he is going to die. Oh, Doom oh, on Ritsu. Yeah, Doom has been committed onto Ritsu. He's going to try and survive through this and just fight back, but there's not much you can do once you've been doomed up. Another nice pick off there by the Byzantine Raiders. Yeah, they're, again, they're playing around these spikes quite well. 15k lead now on the side of Byzantine Raiders. They're going to start to find these tier 2s. And once they do hammer in more map control, it's going to be very hard for Dogchamp to jump back in and Ray Lisa. He does manage to walk his way out as now. Maybe he's gone too far, Murderer, but no, the speed does not land and they are going to turn right back around onto Luki Luki and they get the kill on the Mars. That'll mean that tier 2 bottom tower does end up going down here. Nice easy one for the Raiders. And on top of all this, Murderer finds the Orb of Destruction. So his damage output just got even higher. Yeah. All is fair in Love and War. Well, sometimes Ice Frog gives you a little bit more love as well. So it's going to be a, a ton of damage here for Murderer. And Ritsu is now just queuing a Divine. So again, all in on damage. At least he has a second Crystalis. But Divine! I mean, I get that you are behind. I don't know if you're going to live long enough to get, like, two, three hits off with your Divine on and fight them. Uh, I, I think he's going to try. It seems like they're at that stage of the game where they've got to just... They've got to try the all-in play. And if it doesn't work, you just kind of call it. Because you're already at that point anyway, John. I mean, he's they're 18k net worth behind. Up against the Ricky position one. Which always feels kind of impossible to come back from. That Ricky just has so many ways of escaping. Invisibility. They are going to group up once again, BR. Start moving towards that Radiant Jungle. There was a smoke out from Dog Champ. Still, Borko going to rush his way forward, and he does run into Raider Lisa. This be a, a great way to get started. And Impale is going to land. However, they have gone towards the north. Rugos does die, and Raider Lisa does also die. So one for one so far, but definitely in the favor of the Raiders. As now Bloody Nine does not land the hook shot. Luki Luki just forced to run. Hmm. Well, Ritsu is inching towards that Divine, Mike. A 2k away, does have the Demon Edge up. So it's the all-in play. He just needs to stay alive until it's up. Play with a Stifling Dagger. See if they get a lucky crit off. Uh, BR is not going to allow that to happen smoothly, though. For no. sure, they are starting to lock in and dive deep. Yeah, Yaren's gone. No way out of this one. Murderer will take another kill for himself. Yeah, I mean, uh, this Divine, I look forward to seeing what he can do with it. Obviously, he's kind of hoping he gets a bit lucky with some, some lucky crits and... Just that Doom, once the Doom comes out, it's, it's just, there's just not much you can do. Top tower is under attack. It's been a very it's, kind uh, of powerful pick here from the Raiders. Yeah, it, it just ties in with what they have so well. Like, they can set up with that Nyx quite well. The smoke screen's causing them all sorts of issues, despite the fact that they do have a four staff on that, uh, on that Cottle. Just not able to maximize it and really get anything out. So, it's just kind of crumbling apart, excuse me, crumbling apart here. At the least, Byzantine Raiders are taking their time with a push in. So, that is space for Ritsu. Divine is almost set to be bought out, but the triangle's invaded. They might spot that Curry. You gotta be careful with that micro here. Rush in from BR. Once again into the Radiant side jungle. The Bloody Nine's gonna be spotted, but they want Ritsu more. Borko gonna ignore... Ritsu. The clock, Ritsu in danger, committed the blink strike, but the recall going to be cancelled off. Orko misses the impale, but they've got the control. It just doesn't matter if you miss the spells, they still just have so much damage. Of course, we saw Luki just trying to skip the creep wave and buy some more time, but they do have creeps with them. They're going to try and force this high ground and maybe even a buyback here from, from Ritsu on the PA.
Oh no. Up in. BKB's there, but it just doesn't help up against Murder on the Ricky. And tricks the trade damage. It's just kind of insane. Ooh. That bottom yep, racks, they go, and they will claim it very easily. Yeah, at the least, the creep wave's pretty far, so backdoor is kicking in for the range. They're only going to find one so far, but not going to be too long until the next wave is in. Oh. Murder on? Murder. Yeah, he's in no danger, I suppose. Like, you haven't got damage without the PA or the Ember. He feels just very, very confident. He's just diving wherever he wants. Cube even has an Abyssal Blade up now on the Pango. Uh, that'll be another tier 3 tower going down. Do they stick around for the mid racks? No. Roots is about to respawn. So does Raider Lisa. And so we are still in that stage where you are kind of just going in for the all-in play on Ritsu. That's the only option here. Yeah, he's uh, still holding back and finishing up that rapier. Uh, the secret trap is now invaded here by the side of Byzantine Raiders, so you do have to be cautious about tossing that courier out. But at the least, that divine is actually ready to go. It needs to buy it out. Issue is, can Ritsu be in the right spot, and can he get the daggers off, get them going? We'll have to find out, as even a Daedalus now done on Murder, so he is just absolutely going to melt heroes in his tricks. Just no stopping this Ricky with how far ahead he is. And Byzantine Raiders again looking amazing here in game number two. So much armor as well. Look at our Doom. Shiva's plus AC up already. Plus 34 armor. Like, it's so hard, even with all the physical here, to melt through that Doom front line. That it is. There's your Divine Rapier. Who does pick it up? Oh, Rugos. Ritsu. Oh, he jumps right back in, avoids the spear, but there is the Shadow Realm, Ritsu. and now the Impel now. That's just so much Ritsu. damage. Just so That's it. much damage, and yeah, it's GG. There's, I mean, they could no way. make the miracle play by killing Murderer. He doesn't have anything like an Aegis, but yeah, yeah they nah, call they, it. They, they call it. No, yeah. there's no way. That's insane. Ritsu, ballsy build up, ballsy play, but ooh. That was divine into death. And Dog Champ uh, crumble apart as Byzantine Raiders fix their issues from game one. They come out with a really strong draft to counteract any potential picks. That Dune last pick, as you mentioned from AMB, just worked out well. Held down mid, managed to go around, play around those early Doom timings, make it hellish on all the side lanes. And Dog Champ kind of fell apart. Ray Lisa not managing to get off to the running start and just caused so many issues there for Dog Champ. Absolutely. Now with that, John, I might have to go restart the internet to just make sure this is uh, these disconnections aren't going to happen again in game number three. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to go check it out. So it is MLP Dota and Dronix Fire. We'll be back after a short 10-minute break. And if you do see the stream turn off, uh, don't worry. If it does turn off, we'll be back within a minute or so. Uh, but we'll see what the problem is. We'll be back very, very soon.